I'm thinking about two men right here in Chicago who are fairly successful, similar background, educated. They worked for a corporation for many years, and they were among many people that were laid off. Two guys who were very good friends. One went out looking for a job for several weeks, along with the other one, and they faced disappointment and rejection again and again and again. They couldn't find any work. One guy stopped. He became discouraged. He stopped going. He stayed home looking at television, became very argumentative and toxic with his wife, drinking beer, getting on the phone, talking to his other negative, unemployed friends, and he just gave up. The other guy kept looking for a job everywhere he could go, every time he could get an opportunity, kept asking people, networking, checking the newspapers every day, kept going everywhere he could, trying to find a job. You have too much education, you're overqualified, you won't be here long enough. He kept going, he kept going. He went to a place and said, look here, I tell you what, if you can't hire me, and I know you can use my talents, abilities, and skills, I don't want to sit home and do nothing. Just, just let me do some volunteer work. You don't have to give me anything, all right? I just want to work. I want to be busy. Guy said, okay, it's on you now, but don't, don't expect me to give you anything. It's okay. This guy came in and worked. He was the first one there. The last one to leave was the best employee there. About four weeks later, one of the top managers quit. They were looking for a replacement. Guess who they selected? This other guy. This guy who was volunteering his time, he got the job. What was the difference between the two men? Eyesight and mind sight. Eyesight is judging on what you see. Judging according to appearances. But mind sight is how you interpret what you see. One guy said, it's not possible, it's over, I'm finished. I can't do it. I can't make it. He surrendered. I've faced rejection again and again. I'm not going anymore. There are no jobs out there. But this other guy, he felt that in spite of the no's and rejections, in spite of how bad the economy is, in spite of what the newspapers are saying, that it's possible that somebody somewhere will give me a job. He just kept going, thinking it was possible. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's what we have to do with our dreams. Because things happen to you in life that you can never, ever anticipate. And many times when those things happen, you want to give up. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't.